So picking up on our definition of programs, uh, these are these exist to produce some outcome society has deemed beneficial, um, right? These are the solutions to those problems. Uh, and we're going to start out by defining some of the terms of uh, program logic um, and strategy, because this is what's going to feed directly into our evaluation. Uh, we really have to understand how programs work and what goes into them uh, if we're going to identify the points for evaluation. Uh, and I'm going to start with four key terms, uh, and, and I'm going to go with them backwards because I think it, it helps understand what these words mean a little bit better if we use them backwards, and then we'll work through the logic model. So we're going to start off with outcomes. Uh, outcomes are the end result of our program. Uh, this is the thing that's going to be different in the environment as a result of the program. Uh, to accomplish those outcomes, our program is going to produce outputs. Um, outputs are the tangible goods uh, or services or things that the program puts out, right, that produces. Um, we, we generate those outputs through sets of activities and processes, right? These are the, the things that we do to produce those goods or services or things. Um, and if we're going to engage in activities and processes, we need some resources or we need some inputs. Uh, these could be uh, staff, right? The, the people that administer the program. These could be dollars of investment or these could be materials um, that are invested in those activities. So with our terms defined, uh, we're going to just kind of briefly walk through how a program uh, fits into this whole scheme of solving problems. Uh, on the left side of our diagram here, we can see the, the present situation, right? This is the world as it exists today. Um, and on the right hand side of our screen, we're looking at the future situation. These are the things that we want the world to be um, as a result of our, our activities. Um, and in the middle here is our logic model, right? This is this is our program strategy that's going to bring us from the present situation to the future situation that we've envisioned. Uh, now, of course, this model that you're looking at on the screen is way oversimplified. More accurately, uh, it's going to look like this. Um, the, the current situation here on the left has, has lots and lots of, of things going on, right? There's lots of context. There are lots of factors. Um, and there's, there's lots of noise. Um, and our organization uh, exists uh, to, to accomplish some desired outcome. Um, but there are also other organizations that may be working uh, with us, maybe working toward the same goals, or maybe working toward opposing goals. Um, and we do things and, and they do things. Uh, and all of our activities are situated in some context where the, the, the world and the environment are constantly interacting with it. Uh, sometimes we're interacting with each other. Um, and our desired outcome is still going to exist in the context of, of all of the things that are going on in the environment. This whole model becomes much more complicated in real life. So we're, we're you know, boiling it down to the, the, the most elemental components um, just for the purposes of examining uh, our, our task uh, of program evaluation. In the middle of that, that mix uh, of, of context and organizations and, and all of the other dizzying things that you saw on the screen, um, we've got our program logic. And these are the terms that I've defined already. So now we can think about uh, inputs. And inputs are the things that are invested in the process. Remember, staff, resources, dollars, materials. Um, and then we think about process or the things that we do to, to uh, achieve our goals. Um, and then we think about outputs or what the, the product of our organization and our, our program is going to be. And the outcomes are the things that we're trying to achieve uh, in the world. If we compare this to kind of a, an organizational strategy, um, we can see that it kind of works in the opposite direction. Um, so if you've ever been part of strategic planning, uh, you'll remember kind of the you start with a mission, vision and goals. Um, and those are really statements of outcomes. Those are statements of the things that you want to see in the world. The objectives uh, are the things in strategy that we uh, want to do to achieve those outcomes. Uh, in our logic model, uh, objectives map really well onto outputs, right? What is our organization going to achieve to reach that, that mission and vision and goals? Um, to achieve our objectives, right, in, in organizational strategy, we think about action steps, right? What are, what are the things that we're actually going to do? Well, that maps really well onto processes. 
Um, and then of course, um, we think about what we're gonna need to achieve those action steps. And those are our inputs, right? Those are the resources. So now that we've very briefly been through program logic, we can look at the points for evaluation. We can look at the, the points in the logic model where we can legitimately ask questions um, that can help us identify how our program is performing.